Let me see how I can find Peyton to bring her on here. How does this work? Somebody want to help me again? Tell me how live works. Let's just... Should I just text her? Oh, wait, there she is. I feel like this is one of those videos I'm just like sitting here awkwardly like oh, hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? What are you up to? I'm good. I'm uh honestly watching the office, avoiding doing homework. <laughs> Which episode? I so okay, I'm to be honest, watching it through the for the first time. I have what? yeah, I know, I know. My my best friend Gabrielle is like obsessed with The Office. Um Me too. most people I know are obsessed with The Office, I feel like, and because we work with Jen Coletta. I was like, okay, I've got to like, I've got to know, I got to do my homework now. So I just started watching really? it. Um, the la last couple of days, I've been repainting an Ikea bookshelf that was uh, <laughs> given to me by a friend. I was like, oh, I'm looking for a bookshelf. She was like, I'm getting rid of one, but it's dark brown. And I was like, oh, I can paint it. I've never done this before in my life. It was a four day process. I am exhausted. But to keep myself going, I put it on in the background. Now I'm like totally hooked. So I'm on episode three. Oh, so sorry. Season three, episode 10. Whoa, you so. made waves. <laughs> That's how I watch that show. I'm jealous that you're watching it for the first time because, I mean, I still enjoy it even now, but it's such a good show. Oh, who's your favorite character? Oh, no, wait. It's lagging for me. Is it lagging for you guys? Oh, wait. No, now I can see you. Okay. It might be the problem with my Wi-Fi, and if it happens too often, I will figure something out. But if, you, if everybody else can see Peyton, then, then you can keep going. Sorry about that. Yeah, are we good? <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. no, no wi-fi problems throughout quarantine like oh right. my gosh they've been killing me <laughs> I, i've had DM'd my sister who called me and I was like, hey, because we had literally just got off the phone. She was like, hey, I thought this warranted a call. Somebody just DM'd me to say that you accidentally posted your Wi-Fi and password on that photo. I was like, crap. So I had to go change everything. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I don't think anybody would hack, but just in case. So I had to go change everything, and now nothing is connected to Wi-Fi. I have to keep manually reconnecting everything with the new password and new login and everything. Uh, that's still yeah. so weird, though, because I've heard that when you go onto people's Wi-Fi or if they're on theirs, like, you can you can get so much information from someone being yeah. on your Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's, so that's probably good that you did that. I changed it, so hopefully it's better now. By the way, yeah. I have, like a full on setup. I have my iPad here so I can read off questions that we've gotten in case uh, anybody has any good ones. Wait, Mary, you are so though, fancy. I know I'm so official. One of them though is from Jacob and I can't read it out loud. So I'm gonna text it to you because it is no, why? spoilers. <laughs> and I was like, I think I'll get in so much trouble if I actually posted this, but um, do it. Spoil it. <laughs> Jacob, Can you imagine Jacob, if we just found this so live and like spoiled? <laughs> That's literally what I was thinking. I was so like, what? watch me just put my foot in my mouth. I have to be so, I'm gonna be so careful. Mom, I'm doing, doing a live. Oh my gosh. My mom is just like, I told her too. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I was honestly worried my dog's gonna start barking. Lady, she's over there hiding somewhere. Lady, uh, I lady. Well, so so what brought this about was I got like a flood of DMs a few weeks ago that uh, of people being like, so do you and Peyton really hate each other? And I was like, wait a minute, do people actually think this? Like, do I actually give up a vibe? Like, I don't, because <laughs> I feel like, you know what I mean? We didn't get much time to hang out off screen on season two, but season three, I feel like we got more time to hang out off screen. That was so nice. No, I mean, I guess that's a good thing because if they only watch the show, yeah. then they hate each other. So I guess we're doing our jobs. That's yeah, kind yes. of But no, season three, because you and I, I feel like we ha our schedules aligned a little bit more. And we, I, it was so fun getting to spend time and yeah. even going out to that karaoke bar that we went to. And <laughs> I yeah, know. It was nice to.
<laughs> like around well, like my, that weekend my family came in it was like the weekend before thanksgiving or something mom yeah <laughs> that was funny that was it's so funny looking back on that now oh i know and it's so true because even with i don't know with females i feel like it's even a different thing when you have a rival coming in or whatever it is it's just it's nerve-wracking and you never know i mean you know you've worked probably with all kinds of different people like you just never know how someone's gonna be so you were yeah. so embracing and so kind because also like Coming in as the new girl, I was I was nervous because Thing. Yeah, exactly. I know. I was thinking about that too. Or like uh, watching our doubles, uh, even during like season two. I feel like the like final fight. Like I liked watching our doubles fight, and the two of us are sitting over there, like, oh, is it this fun? <laughs> like, look, 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 it's go. so good. Look at that leg. Oh no, Peyton's frozen on my end. Is that just my oh. problem? Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah, it lagged for a second. Okay. Okay. Wait. So. see what uh what's some good ones we got i'm gonna go to the first like panel of like the first question thing that i asked because i feel like we got some interesting oh first off the bat not a question but i'm team tori somebody says <laughs> wow so i love that you started with that <laughs> it's, there it's very funny like there's such team sam team tori dude it's i know which is i love the videos that are coming out that are like why sam is the real villain from the beginning, and I like looking at it because I'm like, oh, it makes me feel like a real part of the saga. Because <laughs> there are all those videos about how Ralph is the real villain. I was like, you know what? I'll take it. It means I'm a part of the community. Yeah, for real. And you know what? People are diving and looking that deep into the relationship and the character. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> have to end up being like <laughs> just completely like desolate in my life just destitute and like in desperate need and then you would have to have come out as the like rich car salesman <laughs> just exactly that i have bonsai trees so it's yes. like he shifted or Man. like you have pet snakes and you've made it into like a sweet thing like everybody goes home and you get to pet a pet snake before you leave or i'm like a bougie Tw you know those millennial like gyms that are like soul cycle ish like i could see Tor imagine tori oh my god yeah bougie gym kickboxing gym. oh wait wait what's the boxing one rumble is that what it's called rumble. that's honestly what i was picturing. um all right people are asking how many episodes in season three i saw john hurwitz was on here before are we allowed to say how many episodes are in season three <laughs> i was about to say he just wrote no spoilers yeah i know <laughs> You can let us know, John, if we're allowed to say how many episodes are in season three. Oh, how did, uh, somebody wanted to know, let me see if I can find the person who asked this. What was your audition process? 
Mine was really last minute. I got it the day before. And I actually remember I was going to a friend's movie premiere that the night before the audition. And I stayed up super late celebrating him. And I was just like, oh, how am I going to prepare for this audition? Should I even go in? And I just did. And when I went in, I felt really good about it. But the character was definitely. Obviously, I wasn't a part of the first season at all. Um, I where I I loved it. Like I was on the plane ride to Atlanta to work, and I was coaching it. And I was at the airport, and I remember like sitting on before the plane, being like, "No, no, 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 no! I need to be the last to board because I want to watch." Like I was I was addicted to Cobra Kai. <laughs> so and oh, it was like an awesome. unbiased opinion. Like I like I was not expecting it, and but when they, uh, I remember talking to, to I think it was John about it, and he was like, "We have somebody that we're really fighting for. Like we love her, and we're just so excited. Like she's the one we're pushing for, you know." And and I was like, "Oh, who is it?" And he finally told me your name. He was like, "She just like she really owned it." And like from the minute she walked in the room, we were like, "That's it!" Like they were so excited, so pumped about you. So they got me super super pumped about you, and then you showed up and killed it. But um, my audition process was I missed my initial audition I slept through it because I forgot I had it <laughs> and uh, Brett actually my boyfriend um, was like hey didn't you have an audition today and I was like oh my god you're right I did and I went back and looked at my email and he was like what was
hey, like, you're Samantha. And I was just like, I was still shaking. Like, I can't mess it up. Like, this could be the time which they're like, actually, we made a change. You're not Samantha anymore. So oh, I was like, so all nervous. <laughs> yeah. It it's all like time. imposter syndrome, but it just never ends. Never. Never ends. You're always like, why am I here? I don't belong here. I can't do this. What's going on? There's some stuff that both of us had to tackle season three. And there were some moments, like, specifically the day that was supposed to have rain. That day was wild. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to say, like, what it was. Anyway, it was, oh, whole, it was supposed to rain, and it didn't rain. But we discussed what we would do if it did rain. That whole thing. Mary, how could Uh, oh, uh, what was both of our experience with martial arts before coming into this? Did you have any? I don't know if I've ever talked to you about this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it's frozen um, on my end. Is it frozen for you? Oh, no. Is it frozen now? No, no, it's just unfroze for me. I'm sorry. It's oh, my okay. annoying Wi-Fi. Just ignore me. <laughs> no. Um, I remember I had, I really didn't have any martial arts training or background at all. I'd taken random boxing classes. Could, uh, monitor my blood sugar more closely so I got a note to get me out of PE for all of my years in school all of middle school wow. all of high school skip PE I had not even walked on a treadmill before going into Cobra Kai and at the end of season wow. one Samantha you know got like her little like move where she's you know kind of like where you have that moment of like oh is she gonna start back into karate that took the That. So we, she, Jan like, I got there, I met Hito, hadn't met Janelle, introduced me to her, and then she was like, come over here, we're gonna go work on this kick. And she, like, taught me the kick, and it was just literally, I just had to put my hand on the bag and just do a hook kick over and over again. And, uh, <laughs> and then I could see after a little while, Janelle was getting really frustrated. On, coming from my perspective, like you must have grown a lot then in between <laughs> season one and two because you were killed. Like the in the high school fight, like there is no, yeah, that, that's just that's crazy to hear. You did a, a really good job then. And what else was I gonna ask? I was gonna ask you, oh, what have you been doing now? Have you been doing anything to prepare or like to so, <laughs> like yes and no? Um, I. I am setting up, trying to figure out setting up some like private kind of like one-on-one -on -one, like FaceTime sessions. Cause like I said, I'm type one diabetic, I'm super high risk. So I can't go anywhere, even if it is social distance. Like I don't feel comfortable going anywhere to like train or anything. Luckily I have my boyfriend Brett and he has uh, like mitts to catch punches and kicks and stuff like that. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. But basically uh, at the beginning of quarantine, I invested in one of those uh, bikes 
that's like a stationary bike at home. Mm -hmm. So that's been my, uh, that's been my big, it was like, it's not really a guilty pleasure because it's good for you, but it was like a very expensive purchase. That was my first like like, purchase. Yeah. Those things are insane. (laughs) What about you? Yeah, I, I was for a while. I was, that was my way of getting outside or getting some sort of activity was going outside, hiking, walking, like just around my neighborhood. I call it hiking because it's (laughs) hilly, but, um, I was doing that and then just trying to do like even YouTube workouts. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get hooked on any of them. My friend got uh, super into the pop sugar fitness. I think it is. I was watching that one. I was also watch. I bought glide. Good on my core. It hurts, dude. That stuff is hard. And for a little while there, I didn't have gliders because everybody snatched everything on Amazon. So I was using paper plates. (laughs) No, you weren't. I felt tragic, but I was like, this is, this is what needs to be done. This is, you know, commitment right here. (laughs) <laughs> That's actually incredible. And then you and I did a duet on something. Was it girls just want to have fun? Oh, it was, it might have been that, but also I remember doing Mamma Mia. Yeah, and you oh, were yes, it so was. Good. You were so good. And I was just, it was super trooper. And all I was doing in the oh, back, yeah. everyone in the bar was screaming, Mary, Mary. And I'm just in the back going, super pa, super pa. <laughs> bunch of our uh crew with us there that night which was really fun um and that's where I keep posting like that photo of us because that's the only photo I have of us not in character wait Mary can I just tell a funny story like I don't even know if I can say it oh no from that night okay okay I just want to say what a real friend this is how I know you're a good friend is because someone came up to me that was really weird at the bar and was and was talking to me and I was just I was really uncomfortable, but I was trying to be cool and nice. And you come up to me and you're like, excuse me. I'm like, hey, honey, like, come on. And the person's like, what? And you're like, this is my, this is my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> come on, like, what's going on? And you say to
improv class where we just like started having like a fake argument. That's the next one. That's how we really deter the people. <laughs> that we should do that next time. Like a little backstory, characters, what's going on. Oh, absolutely. Let, we'll have to work on that in the, in the off season. Um, let me see. Who's your favorite? Oh, that was one something that somebody asked. Um, if you couldn't play your character on the show, who else would you play? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I feel like Hawk would be a really fun character to play. I don't know if it's just that now I like playing the evil, the, <laughs> but like more of the, more of the fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But also, yeah. What about you? Um, I feel like I would, I would have a lot of fun playing Johnny. I think I'd have a lot of fun playing Johnny. That would yeah. he gets to do so many absurd things that I feel like nobody has an excuse to do in real life and just say so many controversial things that I feel like, you know, it's just like, how do you not, he's so clueless. How do you not like, just adore yeah, that. Um, ooh, let's see. Here's some like non Cobra Kai ones. Uh, what countries would you like to visit? You travel a lot, right? So like what, where have you gone or where haven't you gone that you'd really like to go? Yeah, I, I'm so weird just being home for so long, but also really uh, kind of cool. But what, I really want to go to Japan so badly. Have you been? Oh, same. No, I haven't. And actually what's funny is Brett and I are celebrating our five-year anniversary this December. And in January of this year, we started looking into tickets to go to, Dis to Tokyo Disney and to go to Tokyo this December. And then coronavirus hit. So obviously we're not doing it this year, but that is an eventual goal I'm dying to do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That'd be so fun. I want so many photos when you guys do go. <laughs> I feel like we have to plan like a big group. Like we talked about doing Disney World last season and we didn't get to do it. I feel like we need to, we need to uh, obviously wait for a time when the world is safe, but I feel like we got to do like a group trip somewhere. We do. We do. All of us. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody said, where's the weirdest place you've ever been? Separate question, completely different person. Interest, interesting that they went on the same topic. I don't know about weirdest, but I mean, like, the furthest out I've ever been is uh, South Africa. Oh, wow. Were you working there? Yeah, I, I filmed a show there for a year, and I was really young, so I, like, had, like, two lines an episode. So basically, mm -hmm. I just went on a year-long vacation and lived in South wow. Africa. That's insane. The amount of times you hear that kind of thing, too many yeah. times. Um, um, I where the <gasps> Salem witch trials were, and that was really fun. Like, that wasn't weird. I, I really liked it. I learned all about the witch trials and the history, and um, it's, it, it always seems so creepy to me. And then when I actually saw what went down, it was just not creepy at all it was yeah um. <laughs> I I filmed a show in Rhode Island for a year and so Salem was like driving distance and I'm a little goth girl in my heart and so I frequented Salem I made my mom go very frequently while we were filming that uh show and yeah. we did we one time we went while they were hosting a zombie run so they had like the whole town was like shut down in the streets like it's a scene from the walking dead it was so disturbing my sister hated it she, she made us duck from like one one shop to the next because she didn't want to see the zombies so i went to lots of museums that day that's so funny i was about to be like wow i want to be a part of that <laughs> right that's um, what i was thinking in la we get the we get the nude bike like cyclists thing have you seen them before <laughs> embarrassing things to happen especially when you're being vulnerable and like scenes and everything but I think sometimes the embarrassing things would be if I slipped up or messed up while trying to be all serious and tough or like or fighting someone or doing something throwing a punch 
I really had to work with myself to be like, no, you have to believe you can't get in your head about throwing this punch. Like you have to do it. You have to be confident that you can do it. And it was, it was a good thing for me. Like I I actually became a better person because I think I'm, you know, always self deprecating and always so hard on myself. And I try not to take myself too seriously. Mm -hmm. So that was the thing where that was a hard balance, which I don't know if you feel that with the fight scenes. Yeah, so I definitely do. And it's interesting you say that because I feel like that was a really big arc for me on season two. Like me as a where I'll, if I mess something up, like I'll laugh it off to kind of like disperse the awkwardness or like the embarrassment. And mm -hmm. What I I guess I finally learned going through season two was just like the mess ups are like part of it. Like nobody else is laughing at you. Like you don't have to laugh to make it feel less awkward. Like nobody around is laughing at you. Everybody's just like as in it as you are. And if you mess up, it's you know easier if you just keep going and you just really like keep that in you so you don't have to like reset it all for me anyway. Like I had to really get like confident with myself too. Like really take myself seriously. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Which I just I didn't know that about you. See, I feel like I'm really? learning. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. Wait. Um. But I, I like how we like just turned it around and didn't say anything embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Wait. I do have. A, I don't know if I could say this. I feel like I say things I shouldn't say. Wait. I'm trying to think. Like. Okay. Basically, I. I. Okay. The women's room. The women's restroom was getting cleaned, and so did I tell you this? Uh huh. Okay. So I went. No. Into I the, think you did. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so I went into the men's restroom, and I go into the stall, and I just, like, run in, and then I start going, and then I hear someone come in. And so I say, oh, um, hi, like, I'll just wait until you're done, like, but I'm in here, I'm in the stall, like, just want you to know that. And uh -huh. I wait, and I hear them, and I'm like, why are they not answering? <laughs> so I'm like, hey, you know, I'm in here, can you please answer before I come out? Like, I don't want to see anything. And then... I keep waiting and I don't hear anything. So I'm like, okay, the coast is the, like the coast is there. So I come out and it's Marty and Marty was just like <laughs> fixing. He was just fixing his hair in the mirror. Like I didn't see anything, right? But he was fixing his hair in the mirror and he was just like, oh, Tori, Tori. <laughs> He's like, does my hair look good? I feel like it looks horrible. And I'm like, I'm like, no, Marty. Like it looks, it looks great. Like it looks great. And he's like, there's a new hair guy. Like, I just don't know. Like, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. And I'm like, Marty, you look amazing. Like, could, could you hear me in the stall? Like, I was in there. And I don't know to say. Like, oh, you know, it was just like, the fun. and I felt, I walked out and I'm just like, okay. Uh, well, it's like, I'm next time just going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. That's really amazing. That's yeah. really great. <laughs> it's still, I just love Marty. Like, the amount of funny stories I have with Marty, I, no, really, like, I idolize him, I think, the most. Yeah? I do. I do. <laughs> you get more oh, an opportunity to work with him than I do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. That's the way. And same, like, I want to do more scenes with Ralph. Um, oh, yeah? I feel like I don't get to spend, like, as much time with you guys. Yeah, I know. What well, about you? Me? For what? For embarrassing yeah. stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Um, well, freaking Sholo just outed me the other day by telling the story in an interview. And I was like, bro, like, I thought, I thought we were cool. But apparently not. So I'm just going to go ahead and embarrass myself. Um, <laughs> that he said in this interview, and he's never told me this before. Um, so apparently, Sholo is talking crap behind my back. Apparently, at the, the uh, mix and match day, when I had already booked Samantha, and I was reading with two Miguels, we were sitting out in the waiting room and telling stories. And I told a story about this audition that I had that went terribly. Because I was supposed to kiss somebody in the audition room. And because it was like a final call and it was a mix and match. And so I asked the actor who was uh, in the scene with me out, like I asked, hey, can you, do you mind coming out here like and reading it with me? So we went out and like to, to the hallway where nobody else was. And I was like, hey, 
I don't know if this is weird, but like I get super anxious, like doing, I didn't use the word anxious, I guess. I was like, hey, I get super nervous doing the kiss for the first time on camera. Do you mind if we just do a kiss out here real quick and just like get it over with? And I think he felt really awkward. So he was just like, um, we'll be fine when we get in there. And I was like, oh shit, he thinks that I'm like weird. And I'm like, asked him to do this thing he didn't want to do. So then I felt awkward. So then he felt awkward. So we get into the room and we go to do the kiss and it was so awkward. So anyway, uh. apparently I tell this whole story to Sholo right before he goes in for his mix and match with me. And I didn't remember doing that. So he remembered that I said, I really like doing the kiss with a person not on camera for the first time. So we get to the day of our um, uh, episode seven of season one, where we have our date scene. And we both knew we were gonna have to kiss that day. But he and I had been hanging out a bunch and we had become close friends. And so I was really nervous about it. And apparently he was nervous about it. By the way, Sholo, if you're still watching, dude played it off so cool. I did not realize he was nervous. I thought I was the nervous one. Apparently he's like, I mean, I'm five years older than him. So he was like, uh, you know, this girl's like experienced and she's gonna expect me to like be a good kisser or something. I was like, Dude, all I care about is like getting this shot done and like we go about our day, not thinking about the kissing quality or skills. This is a job. So mm -hmm. I was like not nervous about that aspect, but I was nervous in uh, like just, you know, nervous. And um, so apparently the entire day he said he was thinking about the fact that um, I had already said once previously months ago that I don't like doing the first kiss on camera. So he was like all nervous all day. Like at some point she's going to ask me to do this kiss off camera. And I didn't remember I told him that. So anyway, we get onto like the moment. Wait. <laughs> I was so, oh, uh, I just, I'm getting hot even thinking about it. Just like so embarrassed. Um, but anyway, we I get love that. I love that he was on the edge of his seat all day. <laughs> I know, the poor guy. And I didn't know. Like he was playing it so chill. So anyway, we get up to this this moment at the end of the whole thing, and um, we get like it was late and late and later in the day, and finally they were gonna have to wrap soon. So we were, they were like, all right, we're cutting three scenes of this like montage. We're going straight to the kiss, and I was like, oh my god. So I pulled him aside and I was like, hey, do you mind if we do this kiss off camera? Because I don't know if I ever I didn't know I'd ever told him that before, but I was like, I feel really uncomfortable doing it on camera, but also I understand whatever you're most comfortable with. Is this okay with you? And he was like, yeah, totally. It's fine. I was like, oh, awesome. Great. This lines up. Okay. So we went to go do the kiss. And right before I kissed him, I said, this is so weird. You're like a brother to me. <laughs> and apparently that's what yeah. you're supposed to say right before you kiss your coworker. <laughs> this whole situation, this whole situation, like, before you kiss your coworker, like, <laughs> our jobs are just, are I know, just, right? it's like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm going to kiss you now. And, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah. 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 So like, don't make it weird. We just got to like, play it up. You know, like we've been in love for several months. Um, and then calling him your bro. Oh, I oh. know. Poor Very. But That's one of those things that just slips out. That just slips out. But also I feel like I, it, I really do get where you're coming from wanting to kiss them before you do it for the first time on camera. Cause like when you kiss someone all the time, like you have a rhythm or like, you know how, like it, it just, when it's, when it's a different person, like, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's weird. I feel like you waste the first take. If you do the first kiss on camera, a lot of times the first take doesn't work because you like bump noses or you like, I'm left-handed. So maybe I lean the wrong way or like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's just like there's supposed to be chemistry there and I don't know. I guess I zapped the chemistry, but whatever. Apparently we pulled it off. Oh my god. That's my super embarrassing story. <laughs> um, That's hilarious, Mary. <laughs> Anyway, uh, he kind of, like I said, he outed me first, so that's fine. Um, let me see. Some of these questions I do not understand. It's probably my own, my own, own uh, just misreading it. Oh, was the fight school, was the fight scene in the school filmed in a real school? It was technically, it was a technical college. Ha ha, punny. <laughs> That was... it was a technical college, but it was during like testing, right? I don't think they were. F we went on a weekend, so I don't think oh, there was anybody. Gosh. I felt bad when they were testing because we're out there going, huh, right? Huh, it was the ah, training, the training yes. days in between the weekends. That's when we were right. I was like, why do I remember there being? We had to be quiet, except none of us were quiet because we're all like learning these fight sequences for the first time. 
oh, can you imagine doing a test with kids screaming? I'd be like, oh. <laughs> Oh, I would yeah. be so mad. It's like all these actor kids out there just like freaking, and we don't, like the thing that you guys see on camera, like I, I, I don't know if you do, I go in for ADR to like loop over my like fighting stuff and make like louder fighting noises. Cause a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, there's the mics get moved around and stuff like that. But like on the day I'm screaming my heart out. Like I'm usually like lost my voice by the end of a fight sequence day. But oh. Uh, oh, so, yeah. yeah, those poor people sitting in the room. Um, let's see. A lot of people are asking about Miguel. We can't answer anything about Miguel. You don't want us to anyway. Trust me, you want to watch the show. No, spoilers are the worst. Yeah, I hate spoilers. There's a girl in sixth grade who told me who won American Idol before I had watched it, and I never spoke to her again. So, hate spoilers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no in. No in. <laughs> it was sixth grade, and I think we'd only had, like, two conversations prior to that. But still, you know. Oh, this is a good question. I've never been asked with you the this. Avengers. Wait, what, huh? You remember I loved it and with Endgame, everyone was like, no spoilers, don't do yes. it. Yes. I like that. Yeah, totally. Uh, somebody asked, do you speak other languages? If not, do you have plans to start learning a new language? Do you? Uh, I don't speak any other languages with my mouth. I uh, speak with my hands. Oh, that's right. I do American Sign Language, um, and I am, I've been I'm somewhat fluent, but I'm still constantly learning. So uh, I do love uh, American Sign Language, but I would love to learn some other languages in the future too. Maybe other sign languages, or I'd like to learn French. What about you? Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, I took Spanish in school. Um, I got to choose Spanish or French, and I chose Spanish. Um, and it was Rosetta Stone, and I was not learning it and I really wish I, I had I, I'm so terrible it's really bad and I, I actually that's one thing that I wanted to work on right now with a little more time yeah that's awesome have you been working on it or are you are you still thinking about starting it I I need to start it <laughs> <laughs> but how long did it take you to learn sign language how old were you when you started um, I mean, I actually just started in college. Like, I started because I needed a foreign language, and my sister took high, uh, high school American Sign Language, and so she was like, we can sign with each other, and I can help you practice, so why don't you take it? And I was like, yeah, okay. So I signed up, and I did ASL 1, um, and I freaking loved it, and I just, like, a lot of learning... You know, I haven't taken any other, like, languages in, like, a school setting like that, so I don't know if this is common, but for a lot of learning American Sign Language, a lot of it was learning the culture, which I found really interesting, learning about deaf culture and um, a deaf history and things like that, and that was kind of what hooked me, even as much as the language, was, like, learning about the culture, so I got really, really into that, and um, since then, I've taken American Sign Language one, two, three, four and then some deaf culture classes. And right now I'm taking uh, American Sign Language Literature, which is uh, a whole new aspect of the language. So yeah. That's so cool, Mary. Yeah, thank so cool. you. Um, somebody asked about the game. I wish I had more information on the game. I am going to have to go and um, like actually do some investigation on that. I wanted to ask John about that when we were on Zoom. Um, yeah, because I, uh, or, or Josh or Hayden, if you're here, I don't know, any of you. Um, I, yeah, I'm dying to know more information about, about uh, the video game. But for those of you who don't know, there is going to be a Cobra Kai video game. And uh, from what I've heard, it is like, uh, I think it's like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter type situation. Uh, but I know that there is a Samantha character. There's a Tori character as well. And you can battle as us. So I'm super excited about that. I think it's going to be console as well as mobile. But I don't really know much else about it. But if you guys get any information, let me know. <laughs> Um, oh, I did. I want to play. I want to play as you. As me? I was thinking the same thing about play. Oh, did I tell you? I took the BuzzFeed quiz. I took the BuzzFeed quiz to like find out what <laughs> character I am. I got Tori. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, dude, I'm badass. That's right, baby. <laughs> no, I got I got Tori too. You must have been like, okay, all right, good casting then. <laughs> yeah, I was like. I like this, but I also don't. But I <laughs> people got Tori. I like that. What? 
Uh, oh, yeah, I love it. A lot of people I know about Tori, which I was going to spell about. I liked the description. They were like, um, something about like, you know, she's rough around age, blah, 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 has a heart of gold. I was like, my Samantha heart was like, excuse me, heart of gold. She has brass knuckles. That's <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. As, as me with you, I was like, oh, but that's cool, though. Oh, yeah. Cuts like the clip with the knuckles on your face being like, yeah, no right? mercy. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Um, by the way, I well, know you're glitching on my end a little bit, but it might be my phone. I might hop off my Wi-Fi. Let me see. OK. Let me know how that maybe it works. I'm also. I don't know, are you still there? Yeah, there you are. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I was scrolling through some of the questions on the live feature uh, to see if there's anything in here, but, um, oh, somebody said, who inspired you to become an actress? Do you have like a particular person or a moment? There wasn't really an actress or a person. Like, I mean, I remember I started so young that I watched, I really just watched Disney Channel all the time as a kid and like anything with Hilary Duff um, I remember watching yes. um, yes. Gossip Girl. I loved Gossip Girl as a kid. I think I was watching it before I should have been. Um, <laughs> and yeah, honestly, I'm rewatching Gossip Girl right now, and some of the things they do, I'm like, oh heavens be! This is a, no, thank you. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh wow, this. Is, I remember like really thinking I understood them too, and just like <laughs> watching all kinds of things I shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> but what was it? Yeah, I. I I, I don't know, like, and my mom like, asked her if I, I could, and I remember, like, an agent approached us when we were first in New York, and I feel like I just kind of fell into it, and then along the way, have I discovered, like, more recently, I think, oh, my mom was talking about uh, have I discovered more actresses that I really look up to and that inspire me a lot? What about you? That's so cool. Do you have anybody, like, right now who's, like, your person that you're looking up to? Uh-oh, my person? Is it mom me now? I was giving a call. Oh no. Did you decline? I know. <laughs> um well, no. It's a perfect there you are. Because it's a block server and I think they're like trying to see right now. Oh oh gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that weird? I don't know. Okay, maybe it'll stop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I uh let me see. Oh, this was something I got asked a couple times, by the way, real quick. Um, somebody asked a couple times, did we drink real alcohol at the party scene? Can you imagine? Did you? Did you? What no. was in your cup? What? Did you imagine? I was like, just no. <laughs> I was setting you up. I wanted to see if you would believe me. No, I drank oh. water. It was water. <laughs> no, I have worked with it. I worked with a male actor um, who was drunk for a drunk scene, like, he sm he reeked of alcohol and um he was playing like a character that i was supposed to kiss in the scene and my character was supposed to be drunk but i was obviously completely sober but i think he <laughs> was just like leaning into it completely which i've never seen before yeah i so, i have never witnessed that but damn okay yeah like so we had empty cuz but you played you played drunk so well on the <laughs> on the show i was watching you and i was like this is too good um, I will attribute that to the fact that um, I'm type 1 diabetic, and mm. I was told all my life that type 1 diabetics can't drink alcohol. Mm. You shouldn't drink alcohol until you are legally allowed to do that, uh, <laughs> but I still believed that no point in my life would I be able to drink alcohol, so I believed that up until I was 21 when my doctor finally told me that's actually not true, but uh, up to that point... I was the sober friend at every party. Every party, I was the person driving people home, holding back hair, helping to clean up the party, uh, having conversations uh, with lots of drunk people, trying to convince them, like, no, your life isn't falling apart. So no. I feel like I just witnessed a lot. That is so smart when preparing for a role where you have to play drunk, just go to a party completely sober. I mean, I guess we can't right now, but like just yeah. watch people when you're completely sober that are drinking and just like study them. Yeah. <laughs> repeat I themselves over and over. Their eyes go like up here. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so true. That's really funny. I
Anyway, yeah. um, uh, somebody says, how did you practice the kick so that it looked real? What's your training like experience like on set? Do you have anything in particular that's like, I don't know, you loved or hated or was really helpful? I think I videoed Janelle a lot and I videoed everyone and like us during rehearsals and I would go home and just watch the videos over and over and practice alone and um, try and watch people's technique and watch videos online, take classes. I mean, oh yeah, all of it. What about you? Um, I mean, kind of same. I feel like the videos are really helpful for me too. I feel a little bit like when I go home and watch them though, it's like, um, I don't know, watching like a movie where there's like the football coach who's like to bring it up you know, quickly on here but um the original version of the takedown from the big fight at the end of season two the like original version of that takedown in the middle of the one -er, that would be me and you or in this case it, in the video it's uh janelle and uh julia my son double um yeah. but it was <laughs> janelle got, got a little upset with me because i was like no no i'm not hurting i'm I feel so I felt so safe going into those fights because they were very just present with us I feel like for the whole experience which was very special oh, yeah those two I love those two so much oh yeah. my gosh and it's nice I, to feel so comfortable with them and just they're almost like our therapist and I our <laughs> and doubles like and they're, our like the, they're like the bartender they're like, they're like, yeah, all right, so you're going to throw this kick. All right, here's your drink that I need to pull about. Oh, oh, really? Oh, that's so, well, yeah, use that. Use that when you punch this person. Imagine it's that person you don't like. Hilarious. Um, yeah, I don't know where these are, but I have, like, I have some photos from the, like, party time when we all went to the, we were all riding in the big bus back from lunch. That was the, the day you and I got in a uh, Venmo war over the yogurt land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. I think you won. I think I eventually won. You, you ordered me yogurt, and that really is like my love language. Ordering. <laughs> I mean, I think that her being Allie's daughter is something that I see a lot. Yeah. And it's just funny because, you know, John's cleared it up and everyone's cleared it up that, it, you know, it's not true. But at the same time, I think I still like the rumor because I'm like, that's so, so cool that that's, <laughs> you know, being talked about and then that's happening. But I also am, am just sad because I want to tell people, yes, that would be the most <laughs> sick thing ever. But, um, yeah, I know. So Actually, when I did the that. when I did the test on Buzz.
finally figure out the like, could Tori and Sam team up? Because then when people asked me that, I was like, I had never thought of that. Like, I really hadn't thought until we got into that, uh, the BuzzFeed celeb video. And they were like, people think Tori and Sam could be a, a team. I was like, I literally have never considered that, but that would be cool. That's interesting. I mean, I kind of thought, I was like, huh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll, you know, make up and maybe. on Cobra Kai like no wonder they still hold that grudge because it was those high school years it yeah. was their their nemesis and it, it's true like even with people I dealt with in high school like I still have a hard time like I'm you know you try to forgive them but something about it it's just those years are so pivotal and like make make you who you are to totally. an extent where it's really hard but yeah it's it's that's what I do like that's what I do like about Cobra Kai though yeah no, that's the coolest thing about Cobra Kai, I feel like, is you literally, like, whoever you are, you can relate to almost everybody, but you have your person, you know? Like, I'm sure there's a lot of people who just, like, loved when Tori walked in because they were like, that's me. Like, I see myself that way. I learned from playing Tori, like, I wholeheartedly, like, am behind Tori. Like, I think I justified her actions, like, and my actions that I make, and I have to. And it's just, it just shows how, like, there's always going to be a good, everyone in their own narrative is the good guy, you know? Yeah. And it's just, like, that's why you hear things about people, and, like, everybody makes And like I can see where Tori's coming from in a lot of ways. And yeah. although I'm always like, maybe we went a little too far this time, Tori. Especially like some stuff that's coming up in season three that people are gonna see as Sam. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> mm. Maybe we need to think. Maybe Like, how freaking funny would that be we should totally see if somebody would be willing like if we go to shoot again how funny would it be if we could have somebody shoot like almost like the office like yeah. the making of sort of thing except we're all just like like living as our characters i feel like that would be i would be very down i think we just thought of something fun i think we should do it just like when we're bored in between scenes yeah totally <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that that sounds that sounds pretty fun. Okay, well, 
anyway, I feel like we asked, we answered quite a bit of que questions, but we also just did our normal thing of just talking consistently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know at, at a point, like sometimes you forget people are watching and you're just like, it felt like a catch up, which we have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's nice. Uh, speaking for of which, is anybody in here, anybody wants to say hi or ask for their name shout out? I, I'll, I'll do it for the next like minute. Anybody, and people are just sitting waving emojis. Peyton J. Havoc. Uh, Poop, what? Poop, I don't know. What happens to Miguel? We can't answer that. Um, <laughs> Mama. Yes. I'm Gabrielle. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So she's yeah, on. Miss you. <laughs> Hi Steve. Gracie. Haley. Yeah, Daniel and Nicholas. And... Thanks for hanging out, guys. This was so yeah. fun. This was super, super fun. We'll we'll have to do it again sometime. Maybe maybe once everybody's seen season three, then we can uh we can discuss all the drama from there. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. This is gonna be a thing. This definitely I oh yeah, because I guess the episodes wouldn't come out each week, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Because otherwise that'd be cool after each episode, but. We could see, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what Netflix decides to do. But mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys also. Oh, Jamie's on here. Hi, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> um, oh, so thank sweet. you guys so much for watching. And thanks Peyton for doing this. I had so much fun. Oh, my, I had so much fun. Thank you. And you did all the work prepping the questions and everything. Oh, oh yes, with my, my very fancy tablet here that I'll just. Uh, Scroll through. You had your photos? I was very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my homework portfolio. This is, again, me trying to avoid doing homework. This is it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> All right. Well, um, best of luck in staying healthy and safe. Hopefully, we'll see each other again very soon. I really hope so, Mary. I miss you. Yeah, you too. All right. Stay safe. Right 2020. Family. Yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Bye, Mary. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.